Aleluya. Dime sema, aleluya. Wave your hand if you can hear me. Shout a big hallelujah. Jesus Christ is here. Yesu Christo yuko hapa. How men believe that? Wangapi wanaamini hiyo? He said wherever two or three will gather in his name. Alisema popote wawili au watatu watakusanyika kwa jina lake. He will be there in their midst. Atakuwepo katikati yao. And whatever they will ask. Na chochote watakachoomba. In his name. Katika jina lake. He will do it for them. Atakitenda kwao. I came that whatever you need. Kwamba chochote unachohitaji. God is going to provide it for you today. Mungu anaenda kukitosheleza kwako jioni hii. If you believe it shall a big amen. Kama unaamini sema amina kubwa I say if you believe it shut up big amen Nasema kama unaamini sema amina kubwa I want you to lift up your hands to heaven Nataka winue mikono yako kuelekea mbinguni We want to surrender this meeting to God now Tuataka kukabidhi mkutano huu kwa Bwana sasa Allow God to do what he can do alone Mruhusu Mungu atende kile yeye peke yake anaweza kutenda. Lord Jesus. Bwana Yesu. We thank you and praise you. Tunakushukuru na tunakusifu. For you are here. Maana uko hapa. To confirm your word. Kulithibitisha neno lako. With miracles and signs and wonders. Kwa miujiza Ishara na maajabu. I pray that everyone that is under the anointing of my voice. Naomba kwamba kila mmoja aliye chini ya upako wa sauti yangu. Will receive blessing from heaven. Atapokea baraka kutoka mbinguni. I pray that nothing of the enemy. Naomba kwamba hakuna chochote cha adui. Will stop their miracle. Kitakachozuia muujiza wao. Lord, I pray that you will keep them. Bwana naomba kwamba utawahifadhi under this anointing chini ya upako huu until they receive hadi wapokee what they came for kile walichokijia and we speak to the spirits that control the air na tunanena na roho zinazodhibiti anga we come against you tunakuja kinyume chako we bind every demonic power tunafunga kila nguvu ya kipepo we silence every lie of the devil tunanyamazisha kila uongo wa shetani in the mighty name of jesus katika jina kula yesu every power of sorcery kila nguvu ya uganga every power of witchcraft kila nguvu ya uchawi every demonic that has been vexing the people I come against you in the authority and the power of the name of Jesus no one will leave this place carrying a burden let the sick be healed let demons leave let curses be broken let the power of God destroy 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 the powers of darkness we release the anointing that breaks every yoke we release the miraculous of God arise in these grounds oh Jesus arise in Matungulu sub county inuka katika sub county ya Matungulu arise in Kangundo sub county inuka katika sub county ya Kangundo arise o oh god inuka e eh, mungu arise in Machakos county inuka katika county ya Machakos and let your enemies let your enemies let your enemies be scattered be scattered we scatter 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 we 
and we take dominion over the air Zadabo Silaba we take dominion no other power we operate no other power no other power will operate because I nullify every power of darkness and I release the power of the light of God be glorified Lord let your word come without hindrance let your word let your word set the captives free let your word heal the sick let the word change every condition I give you praise for you hear me because I pray in faith in Jesus name and all God's people shout a big amen somebody shout Jesus is Lord don't worry about demons they know we are here and they cannot continue to do what they have been doing somebody shout I'm ready Wave your hand if you are ready and shout hallelujah. We are going to deal with demonic forces. That control what happens in this region ambazo udhibiti kinachotendeka katika maeneo haya look at your neighbor tell them there is a strong man that controls this region mwangalie jirani yako mwambie kuna mtu wa nguvu anayedhibiti maeneo haya and jesus said na yesu akasema no one hakuna yeyote can take a strong man's city unless they first bind the strong man and i have good news for you the strong man that has been controlling mtu wa nguvu ambaye amekuwa akidhibiti Matungulu subcounty sub county Matungulu and has been controlling Kangundo na amekuwa akidhibiti Kangundo he is bound amefungwa you did you didn't get it how kuipata because if you get it then you celebrate because look at your neighbor tell them there is somebody that has been disturbing you tell them that you can't see that person he, he operates in the air 
maana yeye hutenda kazi yake katika anga <laughs> the strong man mtu wa nguvu has been defeated ameshindwa tayari Somebody celebrate. I say somebody celebrate. It's a night of your freedom. I say it's a night of your freedom. Nasema ni usiku wa uhuru wako. And we are not just going to liberate you. Na hatuendi kukufungua tu. We are liberating the region. Tunaweka uhuru hata na eneo pia. So I am going to make an announcement. Kwa hiyo naenda kufanya tangazo. Those that have been using those powers. Wale ambao wamekuwa wakitumia hizo nguvu. And those that have been used. Na wale ambao wametumika. To disturb the peace of the people of this area. Kusumbua amani ya watu wa sehemu hii. I am giving them a notice. Na wapa ilani. I said I'm giving them a notice. Nasema nawapa ilani. I didn't come here just to preach. Sikuja hapa kuhubiri tu. I came nimekuja to help you. Kukusaidia wewe. Take back what the enemy are stolen from you. You must get it back. I say you must take it back. If he has stolen your family, you must get it back. Whatever it is that you have lost, you will recover. The heavens over this region are going to open. Mbingu zilizo juu ya maeneo haya zinaenda kufunguka. What has been closing the heavens? Kwa sababu kile kimekuwa kikizifunga mbingu has lost. Kimepoteza. Or somebody should celebrate. Mtu anapaswa kusherehekea na kushangilia. The Bible tells me. Biblia yangu inaniambia. The blessing of the Lord. Baraka ya Bwana. Make it one rich. Hutajirisha. So tomorrow. Kwa hiyo kesho. We're going to release the blessing of the Lord. Twaenda kuiachilia baraka ya Bwana. Kangundo and Matungulu sub county will become rich again. Sub county ya Kangundo na ya Matungulu inaenda kuwa tajiri tena. You didn't hear me. Haukunisikia. I said Kangundo and Matungulu sub county will become rich again. Nimesema sub county ya Kangundo na ya Matungulu inaenda kuwa tajiri tena. If you like it, if you love what God is going to do, wave your hand 
and say I'm ready wave your hand and say I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready and now I am going to preach for a few minutes like 15 minutes only Look at your neighbor. Tell them the message will be short. And sharp. After 15 minutes. We're going to allow the Holy Ghost. To fulfill the word. Amen. Amina. Are you ready? Thank you very much, choir. We're going to go quickly to the word of God. In Mark, the gospel of Mark, chapter 9, and verse 16. The Bible says, and he asked the scribes, what are you discussing with them? Then one of the crowd answered and said, Teacher, I brought you my son who has a mute spirit. And whenever it seizes him, it throws him down, he fumes at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. So I brought, so I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out, but they could not. Nakila ampagaapo umbwaga chini, nae hutoka povu na kusaga meno na kukonda. Nikasema na wanafunzi wako wa mtoe pepo wasiweze. He answered him and said, Oh faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Akawajibu, akasema, Enyi kizazi kisicho amini, nikae nanyi hatalini. Nichukuliane nanyi hatalini Mleteni kwangu Then they brought him To him And when he saw him Immediately the spirit Converged him And he fell On the ground And wallowed Forming at the mouth Wakamleta kwake Hata alipomuona Mara yule pepo alimtia kifafa Nae akanguka chini so he answered his father. He asked, I'm sorry, he asked his father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. Akamuliza babae, Amepatwa na haya tangulini. Akasema, Tangu toto. And often he is strong. Uh, he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Yesu akamwambia, ukiweza, yote iyawezekana kwake aaminie. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Mara babae yule kijana akapaza sauti akasema naamini nisaidie kutokuamini kwangu 
And when Jesus saw the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. Na Yesu akiona ya kuwa mkutano unakusanyika mbio, haka mkemea yule pepo mchafu, haka mwambia, ewe pepo bubu na kiziwi, mimi na kuamuru mtoke huyu wala usimuingie tena. Then the spirit cried out, convulged him greatly and came out of him and he became as one dead so, so that many said, he is dead. Akalia, akamtia kifafa sana, akamtoka. Naye akawa kama amekufa. Hata wengi wakasema amekufa. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. Lakini Yesu akamshika mkono akamuinua naye akasimama. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Bwana abariki somo la neno lake. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. He's concerned about your trouble. Anahusika na shida yako. The Bible here talks about a boy that had suffered since his childhood. Biblia hapa inaongea juu ya kijana ambaye alikuwa ameteseka tangia utoto wake. He had suffered all his life. Alikuwa ameteseka maisha yake yote. Tormented by as a mute spirit or a dumb spirit. Akiteswa na roho au pepo ya ububu na uziwi. This boy Huyo kijana I suffered ameteseka because this spirit kwa sababu roho hii would throw him down ingemtupa chini and it would throw him into the fire na ingemtupa kwenye moto so the boy had had scars all over his body kwa hiyo yule kijana alikuwa amejawa na makovu kwa mwili wake wote he would throw him into the fire ndani ya moto this is what this demon spirit was doing to this young boy. Nobody could help them. Hakuna mtu angeweza kuwasaidia. I believe they tried the hospital. Ninaamini kwamba walijaribu hospitali. The doctors didn't have anything to do. Madaktari hawakuwa na chochote cha kufanya. Because kwa sababu spirits Maroho. Hear me people of Tala. Monisikia watu wa Tala. Spirits. Maroho. Cannot be cured. Haziwezi kutibiwa. Medically. Kwa madawa. Science. A ishara. Science. A science. As no solution. Haina suluhisho. When it comes to the powers of darkness. Inapofikia kukabiliana na nguvu za giza this boy huyo kijana had been attacked alikuwa ameshambuliwa by this spirit na roho hii this demonic spirit hii roho ya kipepo it came from the devil ilikuja kutoka kwa shetani my bible tells me biblia yangu inaniambia that the enemy kwamba adui the devil shetani comes to steal huja kuiba he comes to kill huja kuua he comes to destroy this is the devil working in the life of this boy. He came to destroy him. And finally kill him. But thank God. Before the devil could finish his job. Jesus. Visited the region. Where this boy was suffering and Jesus had come with his disciples and my Bible tells me the religious people the scribes they were there talking to the disciples of Jesus arguing with them about the condition 
Why? Because the disciples of Jesus had tried to cast out the demon. And that demon couldn't leave. Suddenly. Somebody say suddenly. Suddenly. Jesus shows up. And he asks. What are you talking about? And before they could answer. The father stepped forward and he said, teacher, I brought this my son. I brought him to you. But your disciples could not cast out the demon that has been disturbing him. This demon throws him into the fire, throws him into the, into the water, casts him down and he films from his mouth. Your disciples could not cast it out. But if you can do anything, the father says in desperation, if you can do anything, help us. Jesus said. Yes, <laughs> uh -huh. He said to him. If only you can believe. If only you can believe. All things. Are possible. If only you can believe. Hear me. I came. To tell you. That your problem. Can be solved. However big it is. If only. You can believe. And the father said. Lord. I believe. He is weeping. He said Lord. I believe. Help my unbelief. Nisaidia kutokuwa mini kwangu. 